Lauren La Rosa. So I've been here for a little bit. I've been here for a minute. Move out the way. Maybe. This is the rumor report. I think a lot of people will recognize the voice and the name. On the Breakfast Club. Lauren came in hot. You know, I, she, right? I came in telling the truth. <laughs> so Netflix uh, dropped a trailer for a new documentary. It's called Ladies First, a story of women in hip hop. I want to play the audio first because I want you guys to hear some of the women that are featured um, in the clip. And then I'll get into why people are very upset about this trailer. Black women are crushing it in hip hop right now. Dominating the charts, being the ultimate influences of the culture. We all winning at once in different aspects. There's so many fire women right now, like what? None of this came easy. We have come through a lot. We have stood back up and we'll always keep standing back up. The beautiful thing about where we are right now, black women in hip hop are controlling their narrative in a way we've never fathomed. I celebrate all women because there's space for you. Oh, we will always be stronger together than we are apart. That's just how it is. What are people mad about? Okay, so in that uh, trailer, you hear and you see Ice Spice, Lotto, uh, Kim, Young and May, uh, City Girls, Tierra Whack, Cash mm-hmm. all amazing bomb, you know, female artists. People are upset though because they feel like if we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop, right? There are so many more, like I set the tone for this women legends. that should MC legends. Like Queen Latifah. Yes, uh, yeah, of course. N- people are throwing out. Nicki Minaj. Uh, they're asking, "Where's Nicki? Missy. Where's Lauryn Hill? Where's Missy? Where's Left Eye? Where's Wanda mm-hmm. D? Foxy, Salt and Pepper." Um, there's a lot of people. Gangsta so, Boo. So basically, they focused on the now instead of the forever. I mean, but also, too, this is only a trailer. So from the trailer, what it seems like, they used a lot of the... You, you do get some shots of, like, Kim and, you know, but they use a lot of the newer girls uh, mm-hmm. to kind of put it out there. And maybe it's because those those women are the women that people of today know. Yeah, but even if, if you're doing a trailer and you're calling it the 50 years of hip-hop, you can't just put the the women of the day. Like y'all the said, new artists, you, yeah, you got to put the originators. I it's, agree. Especially when some of these people that are, are, you know, have, still have, have done things that other people haven't done. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, you got to put Nicki Minaj on there. You got to put Missy. Elliott, the brat is the first female solo artist to go platinum. You got to put Salt and Pepper on there. You got to put MC Light. Queen, I was Queen about Light. to say it was, it's a big year for MC Light. They, she just had like her whole moment at the BET Awards. It's, mm-hmm. I mean, she's a legend. Yeah, it's, it's just. Yes. I mean, so people are really upset about it. They instantly started calling uh, Netflix out about it. Um, people are saying, you know, there are women who literally carved out the space for women in hip hop with their bare hands, and you guys just overlook them. Yeah, well, they're saying Queen Latifah and MC Light are in the dock. That's what they just hit me and said. Gotcha. Yeah, but if you call okay. it, if you call it the fifty year, I mean, I'm sure they're in the dock. But if you call mm-hmm. it the fifty years of female hip hop, you have I think to lead with them. Show the forever. You got to lead with them. Yeah, and, and, and I don't know if like you know maybe producers are thinking like let's put you know like I said the newer girls first or do this to like, honestly get people a little bit you know let's shake the room so people will then watch it to see who's there who's not so they can have an opinion but you know they might, they might have did this to get people talking yeah, I, but, I really feel that way nowadays I feel like a lot of these corporations they do things like this just to get people talking because now everybody's aware this doc is coming out correct right because now I want to watch it to see what homage they pay or don't mm-hmm. um, but you know speaking of rap and legends uh, Boosie uh, posted a photo side by side of him and Jay Z um, and he had a very interesting caption um, he said I F with Jigga, but, you know, this is facts. Street niggas in the South don't put hove over badass. Uh, Shout man, I mean, from the South. That, that's subjective, but, you know, I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that because there's plenty of street dudes from the There's plenty of street rappers from the South that put hove, you know, at number one. Like, whether it's Wayne, whether it's a, a T.I., whether it's a, a, a Jeezy, a Ross, I'm sure they'll all tell you different. But if you're talking about... Uh, uh, one of the points I saw online was like, if you're talking about, you know, artists from a certain region oh, in the South, there's a lot of other people that I think people will go to before Boosie. Although Boosie, cult- Boosie culturally is, you know, very iconic. I think that people have Wayne. There's so many different people that people would go to first. Yeah. And that's a lot of the argument right now is like. But even with Boosie from, people might tell you, you know, Soldier Slim is their guy. You know, like that's just, it's, yeah, that that's regional. But yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that statement Boosie made. Street dude, and then it, it's generational too. It's generational. You know what I mean? It's also regional, like you said. It's regional. It's where people are from. By the way, I mean? even generational. There's a generation right now that wouldn't put Boosie Who? as their number one from Who, the south. Who's y'all top five from the south? From the south, mm-hmm. Scarface, uh, Killer Mike, Andre Three Thousand, Ti, Jeezy. 
for me personally. That's my personal. Yeah, people, minus, are, people are minus Outcast, GZ, Ti, Gotta Say Face, and I don't know who my fifth would be. See, and it's tough too, though, right? Because you know you say Andre 3000, but I, I wouldn't want to put Outcast as a group as well. That's why I say Outcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wouldn't mm-hmm. want to put Outcast as a group. People are arguing heavy then, for Ti too. Oh people, come on, man! People are saying Boosie is not even. Standing next to Ti, so how can Come he sit on. next to Ho? Ti, Ti, my top five period of all time. Catalog goes crazy. Uh, catalog goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Goes Talk off. to him, Lauren. Uh huh. From I'm serious, the trap music, the urban legend, the king, the paper trail. Stop playing with Tip, man. Mm-hmm. Well, we also are gonna, um, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, sobriety today. So Ari Lennox uh, posted a, a photo with a pretty long caption to sum it up. She says she's celebrating seven months sober. Um, and is that, it Ari Linux or Ari Linux? I call her Ari Linux. Is it Ari Linux? I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm sorry if I'm saying your, your name wrong, baby, because I love you, but you don't love her that much. I do. <laughs> I just always thought it was Ari. No, you know why? I think. Okay. Ari Fletcher. Don't try to clean yes. It up. Yes. Don't try to no, clean no, it up. no, 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 no. I am thinking about Ari Fletcher, and I think it is Ari Linux. I'm sorry. You love her so know. much because you're confusing her with Ari Fletcher. I didn't wow. confuse her. Okay, we are not gonna do this today. So she says she's seven months sober, um, sober from drinking. Um, and she says that one of the biggest things here is that she's not having hangovers. There's no more, you know, embarrassment. Mm-hmm. And she's also been a year sober from sex. Which I, think I haven't had no sex. That's all right. Damn. Where'd she just come from? <laughs> That, no. was Ari. that wasn't Ari. No, that's not Ari. But we needed oh, to, oh, oh. we needed we needed to throw that. It's, it's like it's like when you texting somebody and you got to put the gift because like you just need the emotion. We need to put that because a year with no sex is crazy. Mm. But shout out to her though. Shout out to her on the sobriety oh. path. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Now, Charlemagne, who are you giving that donkey to? Man, for after the hour, we need to talk to you about a sucker named Ian Atkinson. Uh, he's from Boston. He needs to come to the front of the congregation. We like to have a word with him, and we're gonna have a discussion about uh, Good Morning. All right. And yes. then after that, Ock and Barack will be joining us. We're going to be talking boxing. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.